Hello Grade 2s, it's so lovely to have you here with me again today. This is a Grade 2 Maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. If you have any questions while I'm teaching, you're welcome to send an email to the address on your screen, grade2 at worksheetcloud.com, and I'll do my best to answer your question in the next lesson. Right, let's get started. This is a Grade 2 Maths lesson. My name is Teacher Di, and today we'll be discussing time. Before we start, we have to exercise. Before you start any maths, you must always give your brain a workout and do some counting. Helps us think. Okay, let's count in twos. That's like skip counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. I know you can go much higher than that, but that's enough for now. Let's count in fives. Let's start at number five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Very good. How about in threes? We'll stop at 30. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Awesome. Let's count in fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. That's quite a tricky one. If you're a bit rusty, then when this video is over, I want you to go back and practice counting in threes and counting in fours. Okay, when you've got all these maths basics um, in your brain, when you get to bigger maths, you'll find it all comes so much easier. Okay, so we're going to keep revising over what we have learned until it becomes so brilliant that I could wake you up in the middle of the night and say to you, what is two times three? And you'll know the answer. Okay, so let's revise our double numbers. Double one, that's one plus one. Two, double two, four, double three, six, double four, eight, double five, ten, double six, twelve, double seven, fourteen, double eight, sixteen, double nine. 18, double 10, 20, double 11, 22, double 12, 24. If those bigger numbers were tricky for you, go back and watch the lesson where we did some doubling. Okay, now let's go over our two times table. One times two. Two, you try and beat me. Four. Six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Well done. Wow, look at this screen. What do you think we're going to be learning about today? Remember I told you earlier. Time. Okay, we're going to go over some basics and then get to a little bit more tricky time. Right, here's a clock face. Now there are no num um, minute or hour hands on it, so let's have a look. This is a shorter hand, and what is that? It's the hour hand. That's right, that tells us what hour of the day it is. So in this case, the hour is three. But we don't know how many minutes past three. So let's see. This is the minute hand. It tells us how many minutes past three. So there we've got the hour hand and the minute hand. If you see a clock, it will always have those two hands. And those are the most important ones. Some of them have a third one, which is called a second hand. And that tells us how many seconds as well. Okay, but not all clocks do. So we're just going to focus on the hour and the minute hand. So if the minute hand is pointing 
to the 12th, it's exactly 3 o'clock. That's the o'clock position. So this is 3 o'clock. If it is pointing down at the bottom, we say that it is half past. Look at the clock. If we drew a line down the middle, we'd see that that is half of the clock. And that's why we say that position is half past. Half past what? Well, we have to look at the hour hand and it's still at the three o'clock position. So it's half past three. Let's have a look at another one. This is the quarter past. You see the hour hand is still on the three. The hour is still in the three o'clock hour, but time has moved on a little bit. It's tick, tick, tick. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, all the way down to a quarter past. Have a look. If you were to draw a line like this, it would be a quarter of the clock. Do you know how many minutes in an hour? 60 minutes. And what is a quarter of 60? It's quite tricky. I'll tell you. It's 15. So we could go and count the minutes and a quarter past is the same as 15 minutes past. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you could say 15 minutes past 3, and that would be absolutely right. But most of the time people talk about quarter past, and that's what they mean. Okay, the other one is quarter 2. Now you can see there are 15 minutes to go before it changes the hour, before it's becoming 4 o'clock. So we've moved on from 3 o'clock and we're moving towards the next hour. The minutes have been ticking by. It's almost four o'clock and now we say it's quarter to four. We're not there yet but in 15 minutes time it will be four o'clock and so we say quarter to four. Right? Do you remember how many minutes in an hour? 60. And what's a quarter of 60? 15. It's 15 minutes to four o'clock. But we don't really talk like that. We say quarter to four. Next one. Aha. Now, the easier ones are o'clock. We know that's when the minute hand is pointing at the 12. Quarter past. We've talked about when it's 15 minutes past. A quarter of the time is gone. Half past or 30 minutes past. And quarter to. But now, of course, there's lots of times in between. And the easiest, quickest way is to count in fives. Let's have another look. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we write every number is another five minutes have ticked past. So we can say, what time is this? Five past three. And we count in fives all the way around the clock to help us tell the time. So this is five minutes past three, five past three. This is 10 past. Let's count. 5, 10. Remember I told you at the beginning of the lesson it's really important to know your counting. It helps you in all sorts of ways. Well, here's a place it really helps you to be able to count in fives when you're trying to tell the time. Isn't that cool? So, 5, 10. 10 past. In this case, 10 past 3. 5, 10, 15. 15 past. Do you remember that we don't actually say 15 past? You can and it would be right, but we talk about quarter past. Okay, both of those are right, but it's more normal to talk about quarter past. Next one, let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20. Right, 20 past. In this case, 20 past 3. Next, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 minutes past. In this case, 25 past 3. You're getting good at these. Last one, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 past, 30 minutes past, whatever hour the hour hand is pointing to. Do you remember what is the special way we say 30 past? Half past, because it's half the clock. Okay, that was lots of time. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? What time is it? Let's have a look at the hour hand. The hour is nine. How many minutes past nine? Do you remember what you call that? Half past nine. Great. Another one. Half past two. Good job. And now, 5, 10, 15, or better yet, quarter past, the hour is just past 4, quarter past 4. This one, quarter to, what hour is it almost? We're not there yet, it's almost at the 2 o'clock, so it's quarter to 2. Great. Whoa. What time is it now? Let's just orientate ourselves. What hour? We're at the 7 hour, 7 o'clock, but we've just passed that. We've gone 5. So it is now 5 past 7. Brilliant. 5, 10. 10 past 10. Well done. Last one. 5, 10, 15 minutes past 12 or we could say quarter past 12 oh there's more 5 10 15 20 minutes past 9 excellent 20 past 9 5 10 15 20 25 so it's 25 minutes past 8. So we say 25 past 8. Sure, lots of sums to give our head a good maths exercise during all this time. Let's look at the hour. It's 11, or it's past 11. And we can say it's half past 11 because the minute hand has gone through half of the clock. So half past 11. 11. Brilliant. You've done so well. Let's end with some story sums. Okay. I start school at 8 o'clock. After lockdown, you'll go back to school and maybe your school starts at 8 o'clock. I finish school at 2 o'clock. How long is my school day? Hmm. So how many hours are you spending at school? You start at 8 o'clock. We finish at 2 o'clock. So how long is my school day? Let's see. On the 8 hour hand, so it will be 1 hour if we go to 9 o'clock. 2 hours if we end at 10 o'clock. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 hours have passed if it is if it finishes at 2 o'clock. So how long is my school day? It is 6 hours long. Sure, that's lots of work, hey? Let's try another one. I left to visit my friend at half past 2. So maybe I'm walking to my friend's house and I got to his house at quarter to 3. How long did it take me to walk to his house? Okay, let's draw a little quick picture of a clock. I leave at half past two and I get there at quarter to three. So the hour hand was just past the two and now it's almost at the three. It, a whole hour hasn't gone by, just some minutes. Let's look at the minute hand. It was at half past and it's moved to quarter two. So how many minutes passed? Five, ten, fifteen. Great. How long did it take me to walk to his house? 15 minutes. Very good. You smashed it. Hey, that's amazing. Just like a Hulk. Wow. Well done. Lots of work. So proud of you. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. It was a grade 2 maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And I hope I'll see you again tomorrow for some English. And I would love it if you will go and download the activity that I prepared for you and do some extra practice with your time. Have a lovely day.